Bray Wyatt versus The Undertaker. I can see still in the show. Not, not really. Maybe, maybe still in the show. That's terms of like how, um, how, um, how the match might go. This would be their first ever meeting, and Bray Wyatt has a history of. Kane, well, history with Kane, so well, that's the only thing that he goes after the Undertaker. Now. And both of the entrances are like very like but you need to be quiet in order to <coughs> in order to like really feel their entrance. That's why there shouldn't be no commentary with Bray Wyatt's entrance or Undertaker's entrance. But I'm doing a commentary on it because it's a video game, so doesn't really matter. <coughs> this match has like such a like feeling about it. Like for a while everybody has been saying they should be they should do they should have did Wyatt versus Undertaker or nobody thought Wyatt versus Undertaker was happening until last month. When they were going to ask it, they had rumors, and people have been wanting it. Now that they're, we're getting it, people are like, Oh, I just think you shouldn't. I don't think you shouldn't uh, wrestle anymore. I wrestle anymore or whatever. I don't understand why. Like, he's still a wrestler. Like, he hasn't officially retired. There hasn't been anything, like, said about Undertaker. Or really anything he hasn't spoken up he hasn't spoken and said he's retiring whenever he goes into the hall of fame should be when he retires that's not this year i don't think so it's the most grand entrance of all time most often I thought I thought last year was gonna be his last match too, but since he's gonna be another one, why should I be upset about that? Since he's gonna be wrestling again, I understand he's getting old, but like if he can still go, he can still go. If he still wants to go, if he still wants to wrestle, that's his choice. That's not our choice. And it's Undertaker. I mean, how could you be upset, upset about Undertaker having another match, another match at WrestleMania? Whether it will be 21 and 2 or 22 and 1, he still lost. So it really wouldn't worsen his streak or whatever. <clears throat> I wonder if you'll hear anything from any picture on Sunday before the match or during the match or whatever. I still have a, like, a, something in the back of my head says that Undertaker won't show up at WrestleMania. I don't know why. Like, I don't, I don't know why that's, that's the case. I don't know. This is something I've been thinking about. I've, I've, I've thought about, like, this Bray Wyatt and Undertaker thing just being Bray Wyatt's, like, like just him calling out Undertaker and Undertaker not showing up at WrestleMania of all places. And then Undertaker like never coming back or something like that. But I don't think that's not gonna I don't think I still think the match is gonna happen. They're just keeping him off TV, I guess. Which they did. I don't know why I thought that 
It was a weird, weird thought. But yeah, this match um, has a lot of darkness to it. Bray Wyatt's trying to get his career back on track. Not back on track, but like trying to get himself to a higher level. Which this match is definitely going to do whether he wins or loses. I still find it weird that, like, mm, I don't think, hmm, there are like two matches that yes, me have like no disqualification stipulations really. Not every match should have one, but like there shouldn't be so many singles matches, and none of the singles matches have like a stipulation to it, like a no holds barred or or whatever. Like Orton versus Rollins should be no holds barred. Sting versus Triple H should be a win on him. Maybe um, no holds barred too. I don't know, but that should that one should be no holds barred. I don't know. Because this, this match would be very long. Um, Sister Abigail's kiss. Follow me. But, um. <clears throat> Do I see Undertaker winning on Sunday? It was Bray Wyatt's challenge that he called out the Undertaker. Is the Undertaker ready to come back? Is he 100% still? Is he ring ready? Those are all the questions that you should ask yourself. That he should ask himself. For Sunday. I hope he, I hope Undertaker's ready. I hope he's 100%. I hope he's looking better than ever. I hope he's looking better than he was last year. Yeah, last year he he looked really like like not not old, but he looked like like he wasn't like all there. I don't know why. He felt like that to me. <clears throat> and him losing is just like a. I don't know. I don't know how many amount more matches Undertaker has left in him. I don't know, like, why people say that, like, how many matches do you have left in you? Like, you could really wrestle for, like, forever. It's just whether you want to wrestle or not. Or depending on how many injuries you have that you, you have to stop or whatever. But you really don't have to stop. You just choose to stop. You really can't retire, like, like what people say, you can't really retire from wrestling. I'm pretty sure that's the same. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I heard that before. But, um, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm, Bray Wyatt's kicking out at not even one, and I'm taking this, this, um, gassed already. Bray Wyatt is dominating I'm taking right now. He's not even tired yet. I don't know if I see Bray Wyatt win. I mean, it was his challenge. He's I think he's preparing himself for the Undertaker battle. But you really can't prepare for an Undertaker battle. Unless you're Brock Lesnar, which you just prepare how you regularly prepare. And just destroy, conquer, and destroy some more. <clears throat> Bray Wyatt could do it though. Mm, maybe. I'm not 100% sure. Probably not even 50% sure. But he could be Undertaker probably. I don't see why he couldn't. But I don't see Undertaker losing.
Oh, choke time. I see the rest of it. Nope, choke time. Oh, that was pretty close. I don't know. I just hope this match is really good. Like every rest WrestleMania match should be. I won't be able to really do the side of the match. I mean, the Divas Tag Team match because I don't have Paige. So, yeah. I wish it was a fair for way for the Divas side. But it's not. So, I don't know. What? Don't make them tap, please. That's not how the match should end. Get out of there. Let's take that. Oh my. He made him tap. Instead of using Sister Abby. I don't understand. Great White defeats Undertaker with a camel foot. Well, yeah, camel clutch. Sort of. Without the arms being brought back, <clears throat> well, it's a video game, so it's out. People, are, I mean, the wrestlers are gonna, the video game wrestlers are going to use every every possible easy way to win without using a finisher like submission moves. So it doesn't matter that he doesn't that he didn't use this a half ago. But Bray Wyatt defeats Undertaker via submission. That's not my prediction, but that's what happened on the game. I think I have Undertaker winning at WrestleMania.